7 Common Issues About a Spin Mop Bucket with Fixes Issue 1 The pedal is freezing and doesn't rotate the drying tub. The first issue you may face is the spin mop pedal stops and doesn't rotate the drying tub. The pedal is the main thing in the spin mop bucket. When you press the pedals, the drying tub will be rotated. Attaching the pedal with the spin mop bucket will make the work easier as they require less time and effort to operate. However, your bucket pedal has a personal gear that works to open and press it down. If this gear gets clogged or jammed by debris or fibers, it will stop rotating the bucket. Clogged or jammed dirt will also affect the spin bucket mechanism. Fixes In case of fixing this issue, keep with you two things, lubricating sprays and a screwdriver. You may now ask, why use lubricating sprays? Lubricating sprays will work here to reduce the junk and keep the gears accessible to move the bucket. Now pick the screwdriver and separate all the parts one by one. Next, take a clean damp rug and clean the gear dirt. After cleaning it, spray the lubricating solution over there. Now let's stay for a couple of hours and rearrange all the parts again. Issue 2, the ringer cap is getting jammed over tighten. The second reason behind the problem is that the ringer cap is jammed too tightly. It happens when the ringer cap is clogged by excessive dirt and fastens the mop head and hand grip. As a result, you won't be able to rotate the mop and press in the bucket. Fixes to fix such an issue, you need to maintain simple tricks. Just hold the lower part of the spin mop and the ringer cap. Then swirl it clockwise to free the ringer cap from the junks. Now let's check if this trick works or not but I assure you that you will notice that the mop head is spinning or moving freely after applying this. Issue 3, the mop head prevents the absorbing of cleaning solutions. It is a common problem for every homeowner. You will keenly notice that the spin mop head will be pulled off quickly after using it for one or two months. Depends on the mop head and the fabrics used by the manufacturer. Fixes, mop head peel off is a common issue that needs tiny things to do to fix it permanently. As it got damaged from continuous drying and wetting, you need to pick a new one. It's because the older ones have already lost their fertility and durability. Issue 4, the spin mop basket is uprooted. Uprooted or detached spin mop baskets are another issue that may offend you a lot. Your spin mop basket will be detached for clipping it improperly. Again, it may also get separated by the accumulated junk, which will prevent the basket from rotating. Fixes in case of cleaning the trash, gently take out the basket and start to launder it. However, lightly put it on the case once you're done tidying up the entire bucket. Avoid giving extra push or pressure to fix it inside the bucket. Or else the basket might be cracked or damaged, as it's pretty vulnerable. Besides this, do not forget to check inside the basket if any broken pieces or clips are shedding inside. Double check the basket, otherwise, it may fail to spin appropriately. Issue 5, the mop is still wet after spin it. Your spin mop is still wet after flashing the water or spinning it regarding the filthy dirt. Sometimes, the accumulated junks that retain the mop water get shattered down completely. In some cases, it usually happens when the mop is getting older, or you will use it around 5 to 6 months. Fixes after cleaning the floor or any particular areas, try to soak the mop with warm water. I like to mix soap or detergent into the water. Then gently rub the mop bristles to cleanse off the dirt. You don't believe how effectively it will vanish all the dirt and give you the extreme output from subsequent use. Issue 6, the mop pole doesn't spin slash rotate. One of the common issues is that if you're using a magic mop, you may fall because the pole didn't spin. Usually it will often mess up with the rotating norms of foreign mechanisms. Fixes that the quickest way to fix this problem is to use any lubricating ingredients. I usually like to use olive oil or WD-40. You may now wonder what a WD-40 is. It is a lubricating spray used to lubricate the junk or clogged areas. It is safe to use, as WD-40 doesn't bear any harsh chemicals. You can use the oil or any penetrating oil instead of this. But don't forget to unscrew the parts at the beginning of your preparation. Issue 7, the foot pedal doesn't return to its position after pressing. Sometimes the foot pedal doesn't return, but the water bucket runs. This problem mainly happens with the ruler strip. The frequent use of ruler strips will prevent the foot pedal from returning to its position. Meanwhile, 
a pressing button will work very well. On the other hand, if the ruler strip friction isn't working, it may happen during usage. Fixes the most straightforward solution is to remove the ruler strips from the mechanism. Cut off the strips with a knife and ensure that it will be divided into six or seven teeth on its back. Then join the divided parts all together to increase the space between the two sides. 10 Useful Tips to Maintain a Spin Mop Bucket That Works It is a firm belief that maintaining the spin mop bucket with extra care will last longer without any difficulties. So there are no other benefits except correctly maintaining the spin mop bucket. Follow these below guidelines to maintain the spin mop bucket and save it from any unwanted inconvenience. Tip 1. Learn to drive the spin mop properly. I know you have already learned many things about this. But I don't mean that you only learn about running properly. Many people make mistakes in unlocking and locking the spin mop correctly. For instance, a top spin mop has a locking mechanism on a handle. While you're going to rinse or spin something, this might be unlocked. In the meantime, lock the handle during the mopping period. Never avoid maintaining this. Tip 2 colon before start mopping, dismiss all the solid stubborn. Before you start mopping, you need to clean all sorts of solid stubbornness. It's a great thing which many experts advise us to do. It will be better if you vacuum clean the entire area after mopping. Finish your work by discarding all the rubbish like human and pet hair, plastic cans, etc. Tip 3. Angle the mop about 45 to 90 degree. Always hold the mop about 45 degrees whenever you're sweeping the floor. These are general tips for saving your mopping bristles. If you maintain the rules and strictly obey these rules, your floor will be cleaned easily. Try to hold the mop straight and keep it around 45 to 90 degrees. Again, the mop may stop spinning after applying these norms. In that case, be aware that you've unlocked the handle, and you hold it by standing up straight. Tip 4. Spin the heck out of the mop before cleaning any hardwood floor. Hardwood floors usually come with high-end polishing and sealing. If you use their normal water, it can stick with the sealer. Try to apply any lubricants or spin the heck out of the mop before cleaning any hardwood floor. Tip 5. Clean the mop every time you're using it. Try to clean the mop every time you're going to use it. Otherwise, it may get clogged by the dirt and the dusty mop water. Besides this, take a step to clean the mop every weekend by separating all the parts. Then join them all together. Tip 6. Allow it to dry completely and replace the mop head if needed. Let your cleaning hazard free and allow it to dry completely. To prevent bacterial growth, be aware that the mop head is dried before storing it outside. Wring the spin mop head out as much as possible by you. Don't worry about changing the mop head if it is destroyed or damaged. Spin mop heads are available in separate sections. So you can quickly grab them from any retail shop. Tip 7. Never fold the spin mop unknowingly. Avoid folding the spin mop unknowingly. It is embarrassing, and most of the time, you may damage the mop head. Choose a place where you can hang it properly. Tip 8. Clean the mop bucket regularly and disinfect it monthly. Cleaning the mop bucket regularly is a way to reduce the tendency to change it frequently. Another benefit you will get here is it will prevent accidents. And you already know how terrible it will be to pull back the pedal to move. This is why you should try to clean the mop bucket after you've finished washing the floor. Take a regular bucket, fill it with clean water, and add the dishwasher liquids. Mix the solutions and rinse the mop bucket with this thoroughly. To disinfect the mop bucket monthly, use 1 gallon of warm water and add 5 to 6 drops of dishwasher soap. Stir it well and rinse the bucket once. By this, your mop bucket will be deep cleaned. Tip 9. Fill the bucket with less water. Try to fill the spin mop bucket with less water. Filling the bucket with excessive water may leak the bucket shield. To minimize the water amount, begin your mop from the kitchen because you might need more water to clean the kitchen except for the other room. Before cleaning, use a clean rag and don't place it on high areas during the mop. Tip 10. Apply lubricants onto the metal parts. Do not forget to apply lubricating oil or spray it over the metal parts of the bucket. It plays a vital role in rotating the bucket without any hassle. You amused yourself after you applied these tricks.
metal parts of the bucket usually get rusted as well as create corrosion among the other components. Applying lubrication will reduce those drawbacks. 